In this video, we will use an API to get access to Yahoo Finance data. The good news is all the data is available for free. So if you're looking for financial data, share price information, it's all available for you at Yahoo Finance. The first thing I recommend you to do is to work with virtual environments. So what I have done here is I started a new folder um, and um, I will now navigate into this folder in my command line. I just type CMD and then I start a virtual environment. Now to do this, you have to have um, the pip installer installed and you have to have virtual environments installed. If you haven't done that, you need to do this first. You simply um, type python minus m virtual environment and then you can name it. Now that will take a while. We have to now activate your virtual environment. So if you go to your folder, you now have this new environment created. I have an old one here. Um, if you double click on it, you see here scripts and below there you can activate your script. Now we do this through the command line as follows. So we just do a dot so you are in your working directory. We go into a subfolder and then we go into and here we simply say activate. And now you see in brackets um, you are in your new environment. We need to install the package YFinance and then if you want to visualize um, your data matplotlib. So we can do the following. You do a pip install and um, then YFinance. Now, once that is done, we do a pip install on matplotlib. Let me now just clear your screen and um, open up Sublime Text. You can work with any text editor. Good. First, we start with some import statements. Import then our Yahoo Finance. So, why finance? Good, then we um, can download the data and now I use the Yahoo Finance package. So I refer to yf.download if I can spell it. So that's the download function. And here we use now um, a symbol, a ticker. So in our case, we could refer to the Bitcoin. US dollar price um, and you can have start and end dates but I just want to use um, the period keyword to um, select um, a time period and I use here the last day so one day and I can do the interval so I can also go into actually rather high frequency here and I want to have it for one minute so every minute I want to have a price then after that, it would be nice to have a look at the data. So first, I would like to know the type. So actually, what kind of type is my data? Good. It would be also useful to look at the data. Um, so we refer to our data object and use the head method on it. Just open close brackets. This gives me the first five observations. I save it. I go over to my command line and then I type in Python and then the name of the file. Of course, I have to spell it properly. I need more coffee. Here we are. So first we note we have a pandas data frame, a date time. We have the open, high, low, close. Um, what I would like to do next is just want to visualize it. So here I refer to my closing price using data. So this is my data frame, then the dot operator and then close, which would be an attribute um, of my data frame. So this gives me the closing prices. I use PLT show to see the figure and that's all. Here we are. It doesn't look very good for Bitcoin, but the code is working. So that's one way to connect um, to Yahoo Finance using Python and downloading data directly.